Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you everything you need to get started in Mindscape, which is basically Minecraft meets RuneScape for those of you who are not aware. Now just to say, to log on to the Mindscape servers, I'll put links down in the description. You can log on to different ones depending on which is best for you and your region. So when you do log on, you will see this. Now this is of course a custom texture pack, and if you don't get the option to download it automatically, then try re-logging and also try using a direct connect. Um, it may take you a couple of goes but then you should get the uh, ability to download this custom texture pack that you are seeing here so from this spawn area here you'll have one item in your inventory and that is the server selector do so you want to go ahead right click on that choose whatever world you like i've been finding i'm getting good ping in world three so we're gonna head over to there and this my friends is where you will be spawned straight away so this is what you're going to see and this is tutorial island and in this video i'm going to teach you how to complete the entire thing and give you some useful tips and tricks to get you started so one quick thing to mention before we jump into the tutorial are these two guys right here where you can get yourself a white or a purple hat now the purple one you do have to pay for but you can get the white one for free you simply right click here and uh, you can click this message hit yes it will take you to the website and uh, you can follow the prompts there now as far as donating goes while we're on that topic with uh, getting the purple hat and obviously uh, all the other rewards that come with that uh, i'm not going to go too much into it in today's episode other than to say if it's something you want to do it makes sense to do it as early as possible because then you reap the rewards throughout the game now i've got no kickbacks or anything from that so completely up to you on that one i'm, I'm just sort of pointing that out uh, so you'll notice there's a, a bit of an arrow here and uh, we also get a bit of yellow chat here now this tells us what the next step is and that is to talk to the Minescape guide now you notice down here we also have a compass and the compass is going to point us in the direction of where we need to go so talk to the Minescape guide here we go up to this NPC here and we right click and we get into a conversation in chat here so you see here's the chat you need to press T to see all so it says greetings I see you are a new arrival to the land um, my job is to welcome all new visitors so welcome <laughs> and then you click here to continue and you're going to go through chatting with him now if you want to read this in your own time that's up to you i've already completed the tutorial so i'm just going to show you how to do it as quickly as possible rather than worrying too much about all of this stuff because uh, i say you can read that yourselves so then we're following our compass again and we come out down here and uh, into the beautiful world of the tutorial island so we're going to head off down this way on the path just to say this stuff here is about uh, membership as well so again if you're interested you can look at this and the treasure chests and, and all of that stuff we're not going to worry about that for a second but uh, yeah that's the information there now you notice you do get some uh, you know text here as well to help you out so be sure to look out for that if you're in game and you're getting a bit stuck uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head right up here and talk to the survival expert by right clicking uh, he says hello to us and he's going to teach us how to make a fire he says so simply what you need to do to make the fire is go ahead with your axe walk up to a tree and hit left click whilst looking at that tree and holding the axe you see here now i am chopping down the tree and after a few chops the tree will be chopped <laughs> and then we will have logs in our inventory once we have the logs we're able to make a fire so there we go we got logs there we go they're down in our inventory we go ahead with the tinder box and we right click whilst looking at the floor and we just wait and you'll hear a bit of a noise like a lighter being lit and oh, after a while here we go there's our fire so you can see our, our next thing to do is to fish a shrimp and cook it so to do that we want to head back over here talk to the survival expert once again again uh, you can read this stuff whenever you want i'm just going to show you what to do so you get yourself a fishing net so with the fishing net you want to go ahead and right click in the water here and then we're just going to wait again now with anything you do really on this game uh, you can tell if you're actually fishing or chopping or whatever because you do hear a graphic and uh, also sorry you see a graphic and you hear a sound so we have the shrimp if we run back to our fire quickly before it burns out we can right click for fire with the shrimp uh here we go there we go um oh wait i just want to pick that up i want to right click you there we go um so we right click with open hand click on the shrimp with the left click there and uh, we go ahead and pick up our shrimp so that can be used for food later on ashes are just what you get when a fire has burned out so the next thing to do is go and talk to the master chef now just to say if you wanted to stay around here and level up your wood cutting and your fishing and that sort of thing you absolutely can do that and it's not a terrible idea to do that and get yourself leveled up a little bit uh, it's pretty easy to do on tutorial line you have all the things here plus you could get yourself tons of shrimp together and uh, then you'll be good for food when you approach the, uh, the the proper world if you like 
Uh, so we're going to follow the path along here. Although the compass does point you in the direction of your next person to talk to, you will find that sometimes you have to deviate from it in order to get round, you know, like a hill here and follow the path and that type of thing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We are going to take a little bit of a shortcut through here if we can. <laughs> um, and we're going to go ahead and go into this building. And the next thing to do is to talk to the chef. And the chef is going to mock our cooking and teach us how to do some real cooking. Here he is right here, Mr. Master Chef. So again, right click this guy. And he tells us we're going to teach us about cooking. We say we already know because we caught shrimp. And he just laughs at us. He's, he's very mean. He's, uh, he's very... Um, Let's just say he, he knows his stuff about cooking. So uh, combine the flour and water in your inventory. Okay, so press E to open up your inventory. Simply left click the bucket of water and it goes like this when it's selected. You can see the graphic there. We're then going to left click on the uh, pot of flour and you see we have bread dough. Now, if we want to move things in our inventory, if I left click the pot and left click there, you can go into that slot and this is how you do it. If I was to shift click with the shrimps, you can see they have also been put up in there. So similar to normal Minecraft in that way. If we shift click that from our uh, inventory, it's going to go down into our hot bar as well. So we now have our bread dough. So if we head up here to the range, we can right click with the bread dough, click on bread, so that's a left click, and we're going to go ahead and make some bread. And there we go, bread has been made. This part is complete, we got a bit of food, and we're ready to talk to the quest guide. So once again, following this little arrow here to go out through this door, following our compass around, now, a little shortcut here, guys. You can just run across here rather than following that the whole way around. Um, so I will try and teach you a few little shortcuts here <laughs> where they are possible. Uh, and then we're going to talk to the quest guide. Now, quests are an incredibly important uh, factor of the game, of the uh, Mine Escape game. So I recommend that uh, you pay attention to the quest guide and also that you get into quests once you are in the normal world. So here's our quest guide. We're going to right-click this dude, say hello to him. Uh, click to go continue through this. Um, so basically, we can just click through this uh, again. There's a fair bit of text here, but I will show you more about completing quests in upcoming episodes if all goes well. So yeah, that was just information on quests. But to complete that bit, you just simply have to listen to him, then come to the back of the room here and go down this ladder. And the next thing we're going to get into is mining. So down the ladder and through the cave a little bit, you will come up to the mining instructor by following your compass. Once again, you just right click him. Click uh, to continue. Now, just a point here, you right click him, you see the chat. If you move right now, you can't do anything. You want to press T to get the chat in place uh, once you've right clicked and then hit click to continue at that point. Um, so we're introducing ourselves to him and he's going to teach us how to get some materials together. He gives us the bronze pickaxe. So you see here we have some ore. So if we're looking at the ore and we left click and we wait, then we will mine and we will get ourselves some copper and some tin while we're here. And I'll show you what you can do with that. Now, mining in this is obviously quite different to mining in Minecraft. It's actually uh, very similar to the mining in RuneScape, though. So if you're familiar with that, it's a similar process. Now we come over to the other side of him, and this is our tin right here. So we've got our copper, now we're getting our tin. And as uh, I say, in a second, we're also going to combine those. So it's simply a case of left-clicking once and waiting, and you will eventually mine that tin. Uh, or copper or whatever it is that you're mining obviously as you increase in levels i do believe this gets uh, quicker and also it allows you to mine different ores we'll talk about leveling up in a future episode though okay so now we have a copper and a tin we're going to go over to this furnace right here and right click the furnace uh, and what we want to do is go ahead and make a bronze bar and it tells you that it requires one copper and one tin it also gives you recipes for all the other stuff if you're ever interested in that so we left click that and we wait and there we go we've got ourselves a bronze bar now we need to talk to the mining instructor once again. He's going to give us some more information and he's going to give us a hammer. No, nope, I don't want to do that. I just want the hammer. Thank you. Uh, and then we go up to the anvil here. We right click on the anvil um, and we're going to smith using our hammer the bronze bar. And the thing that he tells you to make is the uh, dagger here. So you can see there's other stuff you can make um, that would require more bronze, that sort of thing. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to get the dagger straight away. So we click that. We wait. And there we go. We've got the dagger. So very cool. The next thing to do now is going to be on combat. That is the mining tutorial over for Tutorial Island. So running down through the caves here, you will come through to the combat instructor and he's going to teach you two different types of combat. So we can learn about range combat and also uh, up close combat. Now, before we do that, I just want to get some of these items out of the way. Um, you'll notice here 
by the way, if I'm holding this axe and I right click whilst I'm holding it, it goes into this slot right here, which means it's now equipped as my weapon. So if you don't want that, you can left click to drop it off into a different place. Um, similarly, if I was to shift click this axe, it goes down here. So by default, it will go into your equipped, but that may not be what you always want. Similarly, if you uh, shift click an item from your uh, inventory, your hotbar here, it will equip first before it goes into your uh, sort of backpack or inventory, however you want to think about it. It won't do it with an item such as you know shrimp or bread or something. It's only items that can be used as weapons. So we right click the combat instructor and we're going to have a little chat with this guy. Again, I'm going to skip through this text uh, just to save time on this tutorial. But essentially, we've got a shield and we've got a sword. So we can right click here to equip the sword. And here is our shield. So we are now kind of kitted out and ready for battle. So we now have to kill a giant rat. So if we come through here, here are the giant rats. Very ugly looking things. And we're going to go up and we're going to fight one. So let's say we fight this guy right here. So we're going to left click to engage him in combat. And one has walked in the way, which is annoying. But yeah, we simply left click to use our sword on him. And we fight this rat. And that's basically it in terms of the fighting part of it. So we're just going to wait now until we damage him enough that he uh, dies and uh, then we'll come on to the ranged combat. Okay, we managed to kill the giant rat. Now, uh, I don't know if it's just me, if I'm lagging or, or whatever else, but just to say, when you're doing the combat, I find you kind of have to spam left click a bit when you're fighting uh, anything, whether it's a rat or anything else. So uh, don't be afraid to do that. It is working and, and you will eventually kill it. But uh, yeah, that can be a thing. Uh, now, you'll notice here we have taken some damage. Okay, we've lost three hearts of health. Uh, you'll also see here we've got this level uh, has gone up a little bit here. So it was down there before. It's, it's come up here. We're level one. That's how that is. Now, notice my health is starting to regen. But what you can do is eat, and that you do that by right-clicking. So I might have done that a bit quickly, but I shift-clicked the shrimp there. They went down into my inventory. I selected them, and you can see what's selected by what's read by scrolling your mouse wheel. Uh, you can also use numbers. So if I press 1, it go there, 2 there, 3 there, and so on. Right-clicked, and I ate the um, shrimps. <laughs> I forgot what I had to eat there. Uh, now, when I killed the rat, I got this item here and this item here. So this is going to be food for later. We're going to be eating some rat, <laughs> which is a bit gross, but there you go. As far as the bones go, best thing you can do is look at the floor and right click them. They will work on your level of prayer. So it's a good thing to do. And once you do enough, you'll level up your prayer levels, which will be useful. And we'll come on to that. It's a, it's a much more something to worry about later on in the game than right now. So killing the giant rat, we go back to the combat instructor. We speak to him once more. And this time we're going to learn all about ranged uh, weapons. So it tells you what to do. equip the short bows. Here's our short bow. We can right click it and it's now equipped. Uh, and then we're going to look to kill a giant rat, um, but we're going to do that from a range. Now, before we do that, we do need to grab our bronze arrows here and put them up in here. So we left click and then put them there. They are now in the correct slot to be shot from our short bow. Should have mentioned before about the shield. You can left click that and put it up in here. So you then have a bit of a defense as well. It's a good thing to do when you're doing combat. So do make sure that you do this. Uh, okay, so uh, if we want to do a ranged attack, we can come down here, look at this rat here, and we can right click. And there we go. We, we, we are fighting him. So, yeah, um, I actually think it's a, it's a left click, not a right click. My bad. But we're fighting the rat, and because it's ranged, he can't get us. So we shouldn't take any damage here. And we simply keep shooting him uh, in or, until he dies, basically, uh, to complete this section of the tutorial. Okay, so he died. Now, what you want to do is go over, and you can see the drops here. If you look at those and right-click, it gives you options as to what you want. So we're going to get 11 arrows back. We're going to take our bones, and we're going to take our raw meat. Now, the arrows went straight into here, which is why uh, they're not in my inventory. We're going to bury the bones, because uh, uh, that's just good practice. We want to get in the habit of doing that. And we are done with this section of the tutorial. Next, we're going to talk to the banker. And the bank is a very useful service to have in Mindscape. So uh, let's go and have a look at why exactly it is so useful. So again, we are following our compass here. We have gone slightly off-road, <laughs> but this is the bank area here. And here are the two lovely bankers. So we just got to one of those and right-click. And this, my friends, is our bank, which is a very useful thing, as I said, uh, because it's somewhere to store all your items. You might notice that we don't have huge area here to store items. So uh, we can shift left click an item like that to put it up in. We can also click like this and click there. I believe that works, right? No? Okay, I guess we have to shift click. I thought that would work. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess not. So it's a shift click to get items in. There you go. Um, and we can get all different items in like this. But what I do want to show you is when you have a lot of items like this, 49 stacked together, 
Uh, basically, if we, we shift click to put them all in, but if we were to right click here, we actually enter the number that we want. So if we want to withdraw 10 arrows, we can hit that. And now we have, let's see, where have they gone? There we go, 10 arrows in our inventory, and it's 39 arrows in there. So that is the way that you can do that. Um, now, uh, if I was to left click these, uh, I think I can take them out that way at least. Oh, I guess not. Uh, okay, well, um, anyway, so you might want to right click and uh, enter like 100, and then it'll take all of them out, right? So that's just a way to get them all in and out very quickly. Um, yeah, so this is the bank. Um, as I say, quite a useful item. I'm going to store some things in here that I don't think I'm going to need for a little while. And uh, yeah, then we'll carry on with the rest of Tutorial Island. Sorry, one final thing to say about the bank, actually. Uh, with the arrows here, see there's 49 of those. If I shift, right-click them, all 49 come out into my inventory. So that's quicker than putting in the 100 like I did before. So shift, right-click to withdraw all. And uh, yeah, that's just that's how that works. <laughs> so now we are going to continue onwards. And we don't actually have too far to go. We're just going across the way here. Oh, wait, no, we do. I've missed a bit. Sorry, my bad. We have to talk to the financial advisor. So wasn't following my own compass there, which you have to come through here and speak to this guy. Uh, okay, so he's he's having a good chat with us. Uh, he teaches people about how to make money um, and it gives you some ideas. And I'm going to do a whole episode on how to make money on Mindscape uh, that'll go through all this stuff if this video goes well. So if you're enjoying this episode, please do likes and subscribe and all that kind of stuff to let me know that you're enjoying it. Um, you know, the better indication I get from you guys as to how good it's going, the more likely I am to do more videos on this. And of course, feel free to engage with me, ask me some questions down in the comments, that type of thing. Let me know if you need help with anything and I will do my best. So into the church we go and Brother Brace is waiting at the back here near the altar and we can have a little chat with Brother Brace. So he's going to say hello to us again and he's talking about prayers and that sort of thing. Um, so this is where I said about burying bones, gets your prayer level up. There's other ways of doing it as well, but um, it's just kind of good to do. So again, we're not going to, you know, go through too much of him. He's talking a little bit about rules, you know, just basically don't be a douche, guys, and you'll be fine. <laughs> you know, it's all that kind of having respect and not stealing or, or all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, so now we're following our compass one more time, and we're coming to the end of Tutorial Island. This is where we talk to the wizard and we learn all about magic which is a big part of the game, and for some people it's a huge part of the game. If it's something you really enjoy, then you will be doing this a lot. So here's the wizard, looking very wizardy. I'm going to right-click and have a good chat with him. Uh, once again, you can read all this stuff in your own time, um, but what we're going to do is have a look at this item right here, which is the staff. So holding that and right-clicking, it is now in our um, you know slot here. Can't think of what it's called. Um, you know, the slot to basically, it's been equipped, right? And we're going to use uh, the staff on the chickens here. So what I think I do want to do actually is, uh, do I still have my short boat equipped? Feels like I, I might, yeah, let's uh, let's get the short boat out of here a second. So we just want the staff. Okay, so if you look uh, at a chicken here, um, you can try and get one near to the fence if you like, because you might be able to pick up their drops. Um, but you're going to right click the staff. Where is it? Here we go. Right click on the staff whilst looking at a chicken. And we're going to choose this right here, which is the wind strike. It tells you there how many runes it needs. We have these runes on us because the wizard gave them to us. There's all kinds of spells here. So as you can see, this can be really big. Um, but yeah, so where was I? I was killing a chicken, was I? So right click there, select wind strike. And uh, yeah, that's that's how you do it. Sorry. So once it's selected, you're then going to left click uh, and you're going to shoot these wind strikes at the chicken. <laughs> and you're going to do that until the chicken has been killed. So there we go, he's been killed, and oh, as it happens, we can still get the drops because uh, they dropped near us. So we can right click there, I recommend you do this, take the bones, take the chicken, um, bury the bones, you can bury them anywhere, they have to be like on the grass or anything. And the chicken obviously is a bit of food, which you're gonna need food, so definitely do that. So talk to the honest wizard to leave the island. So yep, we're gonna chat to him again. And uh, yeah, hit yes, we're ready to go. Uh, quest complete, we have made it to the wonderful city of Lumbridge where you start your adventure in game after completing tutorial island congratulations on being here uh, so that is about it guys this episode was specifically to show you how you can complete tutorial island so i hope this helped you if you have any questions let me know down in the comments if you like the episode please do consider liking and subscribing and particularly do that if you want to see more because the more likes and subscribes i get on this video the more likely i am to make more of them but for now guys that's about it so as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time